the concept of artificial intelligence was first proposed in the 1950s it has only recently become public especially with the launch of google's deep mind and open ai two leading research companies created in 2010 and 2015 respectively A game-changing early example of AI was the IBM Deep Blue, a chess playing computer that hit the headlines in 1997 when it defeated the world champion at that time in an exciting two-day game with six games. Since then, DeepMind's Alpha Zone has attracted widespread attention in 2017 as the first learning algorithm that surpassed the professional player at the game Go, Chess and Shogi, which was another important milestone in the development of AI. This impressive example of a narrow AI, that is an AI designed to perform a specific task, used the deep neural networks that train itself through reinforced learning. OpenAI, co-founded by Elon Musk, specializes in the development of safe artificial general intelligence that is AGI, which refers to highly autonomous systems that outperform people in the most cost-effective jobs. In other words, AGI is a more advanced version of AI in which the system can adapt to any generalized task that is demanded of it. The open AI concept raises more than a few interesting questions and their emphasis on safe AGI necessarily implies that the technology could potentially be unsafe. If the universally agreed goal of intelligence system is to advance scientific discovery and benefit humanity, what could go wrong? Mass unemployment or the eradication of humanity maybe? As the main proponent of the AI rogue theory, people will be left behind or rather than eliminated. The solution of Elon Musk to potentially prevent the existential threat of AI is Neuralink. Founded by Musk in 2016, the company's main research goal is to develop a technology that integrates our brains with AI so that we can experience a kind of symbiosis with artificial intelligence. Musk stresses that technology will only be presented as an option for people who want to get this experience. This of course will not be imposed on those who are against this idea. Hypothetically, this feat would be accomplished by quickly and painlessly inserting a chip into the brain and task could be accomplished with just one thought, possibly allowing abilities as contrived as telepathy among humans. A more tangible advantage of the chip is the potential solution to neurological disorders such as Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's disease, but both achievements are likely to be too far to be a fact as the technology was first introduced earlier this year. Perhaps the most likely risk of AI lies in the fact that it falls, so to speak, into the wrong human hands. For example, malicious use of AI can lead to terrorists deploying autonomous weapons or hacking large-scale AI-controlled operations that can affect the infrastructure of the whole society, including energy and transport, causing chaos and destruction. Online tracking and the use of personal data by companies to target our exposure to specific information and ads using algorithm is already a very real privacy problem. In the wrong hands, AI can also quickly damage a person's reputation by discovering personal information and disseminating it on the internet. Introducing a systematic error into the AI system is another interesting risk we have recently encountered. Google Bird, a universal language model that defines how people put words together to help search engines. Sure, this is only part of the perceived risk of AI, but of course this does not mean that we should not pursue technology. There are many possibilities for its future, good and bad. But if ultra-intelligent machines gain their own intelligence and decide that we are irreplaceable, then it is on us. Hello guys, the ebook for the month of December is available on our website. Get an exclusive discount of 30%. Use the code CFA30.